November is National Diabetes Month for people as well as cats. And many people don't realize that cats, just like humans, suffer from diabetes. And specifically, they're more prone to type 2 diabetes, just like humans. Feline diabetes is uh, unfortunately becoming more and more common in cats. It's estimated that 1 in 200 cats is diabetic. And some of the things that people need to be on the lookout for are any kind of change in their cat's appetite, weight loss, increased thirst or increased urination, lethargy. If they see any of these symptoms, they want to see their veterinarian as quickly as possible. Uh, if they don't see symptoms, I still recommend that they actually see their veterinarian regularly. The American Association of Feline Practitioners recommends that cats seven and under are seen once a year and cats older than seven should be seen twice a year. This is very important because it allows us to check for diseases like diabetes. Diabetes is on the rise in cats because we are seeing an increase in obesity in cats, just like we are in humans. And unfortunately, obesity predisposes cats like humans to type 2 diabetes. The most important thing is that people need to realize that diabetes is a treatable and manageable condition. It is not a death sentence. It's treated and managed similar to what we do with humans. We uh, typically control diabetes with diet changes and insulin injections. And we're fortunate because we actually now have the first and only FDA-approved long-acting insulin called Prozinc, designed specifically for cats. For more information, people should uh, go to mycathasdiabetes.com. It's a great website with information about diabetes, signs and symptoms they should look for, and uh, treatment, how we treat diabetes.